So you may be wondering, yo, why can't I love myself? Why do I suffer from lack of self-love? It's because you don't even know who you are. How are you going to love something you don't know? What's good, GBO gang? GBO Juju back with another video for you. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? Help this channel grow so we can reach all the people that it needs to. So I know some of y'all may be asking, yo, like, where you been at, my nigga? You just went ghost off everything for a month. I'll have a video later explaining exactly what had happened. All the situations, I'll have that in a later video, all right? But for now, let's get into this video. Man, who are you? Who are you? Really, ask yourself that question, bro. And when you answer that question to yourself, I don't want you to say your name. I don't want you to say what your job is. I don't want you to say certain things that you have in this material world. I want you to ask yourself, who am I? What do I stand on? What are my morals? What are my values? What are the things that I strive for in this life? You feel me? A lot of us are so caught up in this material world that when we actually get to try to know ourselves, we often don't have an answer. We often look to things like, oh, I have a job. I'm, oh, I'm, this is my name. These are all the things that I have. And we never really get to know ourselves. So you may be wondering, yo, why can't I love myself? Why do I suffer from lack of self-love? It's because you don't even know who you are. How are you going to love something you don't know? It is imperative that you can answer this question if you want to live a life ha having peace of mind. If you want to live a life full of joy and happiness, a life full of love. You have to get to know yourself before you can live these things, bro. If you don't know yourself, you're never going to be living for yourself. So you may be going off to all these goals. You may be doing all these things in this material and you might be actually having success at it. But do you truly enjoy it? Is, do you see yourself doing that for the next five years, whatever it is? Is it something you truly enjoy? If you haven't gotten to know yourself, you are most likely not doing that for yourself, bro. It's likely that you have been programmed, whether it was by your parents, society, the government, whatever. You have been programmed into doing certain things that you may not actually want to do, but you feel as if it's the right thing to do. And you have manipulated yourself to, into actually enjoying some of the things that you do. A lot of us have been through certain things at a young age that were traumatic or really negative or some type of abuse that took you away from yourself. Because understand, your true self, that self that you need to identify with is that child that you are. Because your inner child is what's going to keep you motivated. It's going, it has all your dreams, all your passions. Your inner child has that. But because of these events that may have happened to us at a young age, we started to build this persona about ourselves. And if you don't know what persona means, persona means mask. A persona is a mask. So we started to build this character that we wanted to play out in order to hide these flaws, hide these insecurities, or mask that trauma that we may have been through rather than just dealing with it. Because we were brought up in a society that never taught you to deal with your own problems. Bro, if you're so caught up in this world like a lot of us are, there's just so much shit flying at you at once that you can never even have the energy to focus on yourself. By the time you get off of social media or you get through with all your responsibilities, you are just drained and you want to go to sleep or you just want to go have fun, smoke, drink, and then you get caught in this cycle, living a life that you were programmed to live by and you never really get to know yourself doing that. You feel me? So it's not uncommon for when I ask the question, who are you, for you not to know who you are, unless you have been purposely and intensely taking time out for yourself to really get to figure out who you are and what you stand by, it's likely that you're not gonna know who you are, bro. When you are living for somebody else, you're never going to be happy in your life. You are going against your own spirit, your own emotions, out of fear or out of some requirement that you may feel that like you have to live a certain life, to act a certain way, to be viewed a certain way. Because not only do you care about what other people think solely, you don't know who you are. So you're not gonna have some type of guidelines to live your life by. So if you don't have a barrier to live your life by, not a barrier, if you don't have some type of guidelines to how you're gonna live your life by, you're gonna be easily influenced by anything. 
And if you don't know yourself, bro, you're not some alien or you're not, oh, I fucked up my entire life. It's just over now. Nah, bro, you good. Trust me. Maybe when you ask this question now, you don't understand who you are. And you don't know who you are. Don't victimize yourself. Don't feel like you can't figure out who you are, no matter how long you may have not been being yourself. Take it from me, dog. Up until this last month, the month that I was away from YouTube, bro, I realized that throughout my life, I really didn't have anything to identify as, bro. Like, earlier in my life, I was in a place to where I was just in cage. You feel me? I felt in cage. I was trapped in my house, I, so I really wasn't able to develop myself personality. I wasn't able to experience certain things at a young age. So what I identified with was the people that were around me. Because I felt as if, man, I'm nothing. You feel me? I felt as if, who am I? So I st what I started to do is I started to build these images. Oh, this year I was going to be like this. This year I was going to be like this. Even on this channel, bro, I felt as if, oh, I have to be this image of some highly awoken spiritual person. Even though I am that, but I felt like I always viewed myself from another person's perspective. So so what I was doing is, is I was viewing myself from rather than from my own perspective, rather than looking internally for certain things I value, who I want to be, I would look at myself from a third person perspective. So imagine basically, so when I would be imagining something about what I want to accomplish, I wouldn't look at it internally. I wouldn't say, oh, I feel like I want to do. I would be looking at myself from another person's perspective, looking at me saying, damn, he's doing some good shit. You understand what I'm saying? And because I never got to know who I was at a young age, what I would start to do is, is I was identifying and building my personality, building myself off of certain images that I wanted to portray rather than just being my natural self. Because I felt as if I was nothing. I had no self-value. I didn't know who I was. So this year, I'll be this person. If I wanted to put out some image of me being a badass nigga with all the bitches, I would go do that. If I wanted to be a nigga who was highly spiritual alone, I would do that. You feel me? Even on this channel, I didn't know who I truly was. And I'm still figuring out. You feel me? So it's not some random crazy thing if you don't know who yourself is. Use this video as an initiative, bro. Take a break from social media. Really just get a paper. I did this too. I wrote down all my values. I wrote down, all right, what do I want to accomplish in this life? How do I feel about myself? How do I feel about certain things that are going on in my life? You feel me? And I really started to really try to get to know myself. I want you to do the same, bro. If you don't know who you are, you're never going to be living for yourself. And when you don't live for yourself, when you don't find that purpose that you were here on this earth for, you're disrespecting God, my nigga. Because God put you here for a certain reason. Whatever your reason is, if you don't know yourself, you're never going to find that purpose. So now you're disrespecting God. Now God's like, oh, this nigga's lost. So until he finds, I'm going to put things in his life to where he's going to have to try to figure out himself. And maybe this video is that for you. You feel me?